Hello and welcome to the Companion Guide series, guys, where we test out each and every companion and find the best setups for them, guys. Today we'll be taking a look at this Inoshichi Chief, Ju Hao, and how to set him up. But first, let's go ahead and talk about uh, how this guy compares to a lot of other swashbuckler companions. He's very slow, he doesn't have a whole lot of great chainy epics. He does uh, have trap sense, which is good. Um, and of course, he has like no utility, no solid attacks. Uh, so guys, there are a lot of companions that are a whole lot better. Contessa is much better, as you can see. She's got a lot of abilities to use. She's got first strike rank three, and she has six movement. Okay, now Fame Flanders has an agility buff that is a swashbuckler companion, only available for swashbucklers. El Toro is much better with 5.5 movement. Uh, heck, even even a companion like Rodolfo Capafiro. Uh, if you guys want to see more about how to set those guys up, or you know, a guy with general information, go ahead and uh, check those guides out on my YouTube channel. I have guides for each of those companions. But guys, quite simply, there are a lot of swashbuckler companions who are much better than this guy. Um, this guy is one of the uh, not so great companions in this game. However, if you do play a game mode uh, like what I do with Companion Wars, where you have the companions duke it out and you have like a banding round and everything, it can be a lot of fun using companions like this. So you'll want to know the most effective setup for it. So uh, that is what this video here is about. Alrighty. Well, uh, how would you set this guy up? We pretty much talked about... Uh, all his unique features. Uh, the best setup to go with is Blade Storm 2, Flanking Rank 1, and Second Chance Rank 1. Now, if you're one of those people who doesn't know how flanking works, I'm going to go ahead and do a brief explanation. Um, uh, first, let's go ahead and talk about Second Chance. So, Second Chance, if it misses, another Second Chance won't come and save it, okay? So Second Chance only works off of the other epics, the basic attacks, and of course if you have like a Super Strike or the equivalent, uh, a melee attack in general. Um, so that's essentially how it works. There aren't very many opportunities for this to trigger more than once, okay? That's the reason why I'm an advocate of having only one Second Chance. Uh, Blades from this guy criticals a surprisingly large amount of the time. Um, so having the blade two is a good idea. Now flanking, flanking rank uh, one. How this essentially works is if you attack with a creature first that is melee, uh, and you move this guy around to the side of it, the um, the direct side of it, it flanks and it gives you a flanking. Um, however, this effect does not work if you use a uh, musketeer companion. So if you use, say, a Nazuka and you bring it around to one side and this guy moves to the other, it will not trigger flanking. Now, the same thing holds for if you move, if, if a companion is moved in between. If, for example, you have a Nazuka spaced out between uh, this guy right here and then, you, then your opponent moves a Contessa right in between, it will not trigger flanking. However, if you have a uh, Finn Dorsal, or any other melee companion, and your opponent moves a contestant between them, then it will trigger flanking. So now you guys have an idea of how tra flanking triggers. It's something that's very easy to control, uh, and it's definitely one of the more underestimated epics in this game. Now, I could give this guy Cheap Shot or Vengeance Strike, but to be honest, since this guy is not all that tanky, it's not such a great idea, okay? It's something that can be very easily abused. Um... So, by 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 the opposing team. So if you give it to your companions, so you have to you have to give those sorts of epics to your companions with caution. However, I just gave this guy some very neutral epics, uh, which I have a lot of control over. So, you know, out, out of all of the setups that I've tried out in uh, different matches I've done in the spar chamber with this guy, I found this one to be the very best. So, yeah. All right, guys, now we've covered the epics. Let's go ahead and briefly go over the talents you want to go with. Rough, tough, accurate, and the last two in the dodgy, and those are the talents you want in this guide. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how you get this companion in the first place. I know this is a little bit out of order, but here you go, guys. I'm going to put up the NPC and the location and, of course, the quest itself up on the screen so you know how to get this companion for yourself, which is free for all classes in the game, as long as you do the quest, of course. 
Okay, so you want to go to Temple of the South Wind, where you'll speak with Yagi Sanada. Hopefully I said the game correctly, and you'll get this little quest here. This little pig you can see it gives a number of reward. One of them is, of course, the companion in this guide. That, that's pretty much it. Now, is this guy a starting companion for PvE? No, he's not. He's probably, like, fourth string I would say, uh, same for PvP. Uh, well, guys, you really shouldn't be using this guy in PvP. Uh, but yeah, Companion Wars, guys, you want to make your companions as good as possible, guys. And once again, we do host Companion Wars here on this YouTube channel. Uh, link down below in the description for more details on that. Uh, but sometimes I give out packs to the winners uh, of each round. It is a lot of fun. But anyway, guys, that is Zhu Hao, the Inner Shishi Chief, and how you can get the most out of this companion. I hope this video is useful, helpful, all that good stuff. Once again, guys, it's been your friend and pal, the first from Rubberdaki, with yet another Pirate 101 video, because goodness knows I love this game, guys. Quack a doodle doo, and peace out for now. Like what you see and want to help support it? Well, do consider joining the Quack Club. Just head over to the Fierce from Rubberdaki on YouTube, hit that join button, and it will give a brief explanation as far as all the perks goes. Thank you guys so much for everything. Your like, your view, your comments, it is all very much appreciated. Thank you very much, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.